on the road again. Today we're heading to uh, Prado RV Park in the city of Chino. It's actually a lake there, so uh, looking forward to a nice weekend of just relaxation at the lake. And maybe I'll finally break out the, uh, the fishing rods that I've been carrying for a while. So this weekend I'll be spending a couple of days uh, at uh, Prado Lake RV Park. It's actually pretty nice as the uh, sites are pretty wide open. And uh, as you can see the lake's right next to the sites. Take a little walk over here. Yeah, you really don't have anybody uh, next to you. They're all nicely spread out which uh, makes it kind of nice. Take a little walk over to the park. They also have 10 camping as you can see. But um, take a little walk over here. It's Friday evening, so uh, I thought I'd come out for a little bit before it starts to get dark. It's Prado Lake. There is fishing allowed here. You do have to have a a license to fish which I believe is about ten dollars a day and uh, you can't get it here you have to get it before you come so I don't know I uh, I was hoping to get some fishing done myself this week but uh, I've been carrying my fish in bowl in my RV for probably since I've had my RV it's yet to get broken out so anyway as you can see the lake looks nice so sorry for the wind noise here and um, I'll try to do a little walk around of the entire lake a little later or maybe tomorrow because it's gonna it's a little late in the day right now but um, I believe they have 70 full hookup sites here in addition to 10 camping uh, it is part of the county of San Bernardino so you can find the information on their website the county of san bernardino website for camping uh, the rates are pretty reasonable it's uh, forty dollars a night for full hookups and fifty dollars a night during holiday weekends so i think uh, those of you who have been there being for a while know that those are pretty good rates so definitely uh to get a site here I, I live close to the area so I in all the years that I've been RVing I've never actually come here before not to RV anyway I've come to the park before but never to the RV campground so it was kind of a nice surprise to, to see that it's actually pretty nice you feel like you really can be because as you see it's more it's more of a wilderness or more of a, a, a wildlife kind of thing I'm looking for some wildlife but uh, I don't really see that many that many ducks or anything like that so anyway uh, I'll try to show you more as the weekend goes along this is the group tent campground area my rig and my Jeep they do provide a little uh, table here as well as a fire ring so they do permit uh, fires here as long as you keep it within the fire ring right here. But it is July, so uh, we're not gonna be making any fires tonight, but it's available if you do need to make a fire, so, or just to get the ambiance, I guess. Take a little drive around the park here uh, and see what, uh, what we can get. I should be walking around a little bit more, but uh, I think I'll just take the Jeep.
It is now Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and uh, as you can see, all the ten campers have uh, have left, and even a lot of the RVs have left. As you can see, the campground is pretty pretty dead now. So uh, I'm just gonna take a little walk around here and enjoy the lake. But uh, when I got here on Friday, it was very very busy. Everybody was here, tent camping, RV camping, and everything else in between. But it looks like uh, this morning when I woke up, everybody had departed. So I guess if you want peace and quiet, the time to come to this RV park would be on uh, during the week, starting Sunday night. Uh, the lake is nice. You can see the water glistening as the sun goes down. I was out here walking around last night, and I really enjoyed the, uh, the sunset. It sits right over the water. If I get a chance, I'll come over later and take a photo of the, of the sunset. Um, and see if we can come up with a good one. In the meantime, I just thought I could take a quick look around. Uh, I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. I just came for the weekend. So uh, tonight I'll be packing up and getting ready to leave. Hopefully uh, you guys can, can uh, join me on the next one as well. I have a few trips coming up. Next month we'll be heading out to um, Flying Flags uh, in Central California, uh, close to Solvang. That should be nice. I like Solvang. I haven't been there in a while. I'm looking forward to seeing that. So that'll, come, that'll be in a future video coming up. But as you can see, everybody's gone. It's just me and the wildlife out here. As long as I don't see a bear, I'm good with that, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I'd be seeing a bear out here. Anyway, um, just wanted to take one last walk around here tonight or today and um, say, uh, say, uh, what else? What do I want to say? Nothing really, just that I enjoyed the weekend. It was nice and quiet. I got a lot done and got nothing done at the same time. That's, I guess that's the goal, huh? Let's walk up to the water here and see if uh, we see anything interesting. A lot of gopher holes here, that's for sure. Anyway, um, with that, I guess I'll sign off for now, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for coming along, and um, like I said, uh, if you get a chance, follow me. I'm not doing it uh, to um, monetize my channel, I'm just doing it to uh, show you my travels. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.